Welcome to Treasury Software's Bank Reconciliation Overview. Our bank reconciliation software matches bank and general ledger data and quickly singles out exceptions or unmatched records. Then, when data matching is complete, you can choose to balance your accounts each period with their unique reconciliation report. BankRec's processes are driven by our high-speed matching engine, capable of matching thousands of records in seconds. In this video, we'll illustrate how BankRec's features can work for you by covering the following topics. Preparing and importing your bank and general ledger data, matching your data with our high-speed automated transaction matching, manually matching records, and our reconciliation report. Let's start by exporting your bank data. Log on to your bank's website, download your transactions, and save them to an Excel, CSV, or tab delimited file. Next, repeat this step with your general ledger. Export your transactions and save them to an Excel, CSV, or tab delimited file. Now we'll import both files into BankRec. From the main screen, select Import Bank. My bank file appears in the window, but I could use Select File to browse for it, or I could copy and paste my data into the grid using the Paste button. In the Mapping window, we map our file to indicate what data is in each field. We're working with our sample account, so our data fields have already been mapped. BankRec automatically saves your mapping choices the first time you make them. If you need to change your mapping later, select the column and then use the drop-down menu to map the correct field. Think of the mapping screen as a window into the file we are about to import. Here we have four fields mapped. Date, check number, amount, and description. For the purposes of reporting and research, you may want to include data that isn't required for the bank rec matching process. We can map the data as text and it will be included in our file. Here I map this text column as text1. We move to the review screen where we can check our records before completing the process. With our bank records imported, we can move on to the next step, importing our general ledger. From the home screen, select Import GL. The steps to import the GL records are the same as those we just took to import our bank records. A sample file appears in the window and we continue. Again, BankRec remembered our settings and has already mapped the date, check number, and description columns. Notice we have a standard general ledger transaction detail report. It doesn't have a single amount field, but instead has debit and credit fields, which are mapped accordingly. I select Next, and on the review screen we see some of our records are invalid. Using the plus sign to expand the field, we find the invalid rows are blank rows, headers, and totals. BankRec automatically strips these rows out, recognizing they aren't transactions, so you don't need to clean up files before importing them. I finish the import and return to the home page. Before matching our two sets of records, let's take a look at our automated transaction matching engine. I select Matching Options from the home screen. Our matching engine is driven by a series of matching rules. Matching rules use specific attributes such as check number, amount, and date to match records. Our matching rules are check to check, void to issue, alphanumeric matching, many to many, and non-check. We'll briefly describe the check to check rule to illustrate how matching works. Using the check to check rule, our matching engine first looks at checks that have cleared the bank. For example, if the first cleared check listed in the bank data is check number 1234 for $100, the engine scans the general ledger records for check number 1234. If a match is found, the check amount of $100 is confirmed next. If both check numbers and amounts match, the records are paired and marked with an audit trail number. The matching process continues until all check numbers and amounts have been reviewed. Once the check-to-check -check pass is complete, our matching engine employs the next matching rule to scan the imported records. Each scan requires only seconds to complete. Now, with both bank and general ledger data imported, we can kick off our automated transaction matching. Select Matching from the home screen. In seconds, the automated transaction matching process is complete and our unmatched records are displayed side by side. Bank records are on the left and general ledger records are on the right. Let's finish off the matching process by manually matching or cleaning up a set of records. 
In the general ledger data, we see a deposit of $17,000 and an adjusting $250 journal entry. On the bank side, we see a $16,750 deposit. We know these records should be together, so we match them manually. Notice, once the records are selected, the Match Bank to GL option is enabled. I select it, and these three entries are paired and marked with an audit trail number. You can return to the screen later and match additional records by selecting the matching link from the left. Now let's look at the records matched by our automated matching process. To view our matched records, select Reports from either the top menu or the left links. On the Reports screen, from the drop-down menu, you can view All Records, Bank Only, GL Only, Unimportable Records, Unmatched Items, outstanding checks, and several other detail reports. For now, we'll select Matched Only. By default, the records are grouped by audit trail number. We can see the origin of each record, bank or GL, as well as the rest of the transaction detail. This report contains both the records matched automatically and the ones matched manually. If we scroll to the bottom of the report, we can see the manual match we made with the three records, the bank record for $16,750 and the two GL records, one for $17,000 and the other for $250. Now, using the link in the left column, let's navigate to the unmatched records. This screen shows essentially the same information as the manual matching screen that opens immediately after our imported files are matched. The major difference between the two is the unmatched records include exception, description, and follow-up columns. Looking at the exception column, we see some of the reasons why these records remain unmatched. Check cleared the bank, no available GL record. Check cleared more than once, deposit in transit, outstanding check. Earlier, when we talked about matching rules, we used the example of check number 1234 for $100 being matched in the bank and general ledger records. Now in this example, check number 1234 cleared the bank for $100, but when Bankrec looked up the check in the general ledger records, it found check number 1234, but it also found the check was only written for $10. Our matching rules won't let Bankrec match the records, but we don't leave you on your own to figure out what happened. Unique to our software, BankRack marks your unmatched records with exception descriptions and does some detective work for you. Exception descriptions help you in two ways. First, rather than simply give you a list of unmatched records to resolve, our exception descriptions explain why a match couldn't be made. And second, exception descriptions let you attack high exposure items first, such as bank errors or fraud. For example, you'll probably want to investigate a check that has the exception description check cleared more than once before you work on your outstanding checklist. If you need a list of these records, let's say unmatched records minus your outstanding checks, you can use our Excel style filtering to deselect outstanding checks. With one click, you can export any report to Excel. Let's take a look at the final bank rec process, reconciliation. Select Reconciliation from the top menu. Reconciliation produces a two-sided audit-ready reconciliation report. One side is for the bank, the other for the general ledger. Starting with our adjusted bank balance, the reconciliation report adjusts for what are typically timing differences, such as deposits in transit and outstanding checks, to then arrive at an adjusted bank balance. In a similar manner, the general ledger starts with an unadjusted balance, then adjusts for its differences, typically permanent differences, to arrive at an adjusted balance. The adjusted balances will equal. Remember, your accounts do not need to balance to use the features we've covered. In fact, if your accounts don't balance, BankRec will help you balance them. While the reconciliation report is a powerful tool, you do not need to use it. Many clients simply choose to export the unmatched records report to Excel. This report contains the same information as the reconciliation report, but doesn't include ending balances. A reconciliation report has a stay in balance feature that automatically rolls forward unmatched records to the next accounting period until they're matched has a reconciliation wizard to automatically get you in balance and protects reconcile periods against entries and deletions. All editions of BankRec include unique point-and-click automation tools that let you set up important matching processes to run at your convenience.
Ready to get started? See our Bankrec Getting Started video to learn more about setting up SQL Express, creating a new account, importing files including your outstanding checklist and current period transactions, and automation. As a reminder, when testing our software, do not work in the sample account. Our sample account resets to synchronize with the tutorials. To learn more about our bank reconciliation software and its features, visit the support section of our website.